Welcome to the show presented by VDG Sports. I am your host, Vince Douglas Gregory. I have an amazing show for you. I have a great, great, great show for you. Why do sports organizations, sports teams, doesn't, doesn't matter what league, why do they get rid of managers, coaches, when the team itself is underperformed, underperforming, or hasn't lived up to whatever expectations. Whatever expectations. Now, there is, there is, trust me, there is an easy answer. There's an answer that makes sense that I can say that everybody would nod and shake their head and agree with and then half would shake their head and not agree with. I would say another half, but a half and half equals a whole. And I can just use my uh, fingers and toes to make that work. I can use my fingers and toes to make that work. No no need, period, to make that make sense. None. There's an easy answer. There is the correct answer and then there is the more the more reasonable answer for why sports teams get rid of the coaches before the players i know on the face of it it seems that why would players run amok or why would players be given this power why would players be able to stay when clearly they not living up to standards haven't lived up to expectations and just could not care less okay there's many factors involved i'd say organization it depends on what kind of organization is running this enterprise it depends on what kind of organization is running the team. If it's a good, well-run organization, I can imagine that some of the players would be looked at and some of the players would be given their walking papers and told to kick rocks. You can't stay here. You gotta go somewhere. The party is gonna continue, but you can't be here for the, the, the aftermath. You can't be here for the after party the initial party yeah cool stay after party no you can go it comes down to the organization a properly run organization will look at all aspects a properly run organization would definitely look at the coach see if the coach is pulling his own weight living up at two expectations and if it's his fault or not a poorly ran organization would just not be bothered enough to try to understand the reasonings behind the madness reasoning behind the chaos and everything that follows with that and everything that entails with that matter at hand see how that works and then what about leadership abilities to begin with this coach these coaches this manager may not have had the right leadership skill set to begin with could not fight himself out of a wet paper bag could not leave a bunch of ants marching to food Uh uh-uh you have to have a certain gravitas a certain pull a certain ick factor a certain resume that players will look at this players will understand the end game understand the goals and it's giving them an opportunity to showcase their talent it's putting them in the best position possible moving forward or presently poor leadership skills from a coach would definitely be a factor to look at a reason to 
make a move or not make a move and just clearly ignoring whether or not it's a good leader or a bad leader hey that's what a poor organization would do and that's why it's interconnected and that's still not even close to some of the other factors that you would have to definitely factor into of the reason why it's managers coaches that get the walking papers they get that pink that 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 beloved pink slip before some of the underperforming players before some of the underperforming players who just don't get it but that's okay in price price also comes into a factor price would be that one thing that I mentioned in the beginning where you just automatically shake your head one way or the other when it comes to price it in other words it is cheaper to get rid of in theory the coach the coaches the managers before the players the players have a bigger contract in the players there's more of them that's more contracts that you would have to try to get rid of and solve not every team is going to help you with those problems because in theory yes that theory that theory they will be helping you get better and hurting themselves why would another team help you and that's the you plural teams help other teams get better by taking their players full price or in exchange same underperforming players or the same players that come into question whether it should get rid of the players or should get rid of the manager should get rid of the players or should get rid of the manager so a team taking that player in it will definitely be a fresh start for sure but also there's a history of this then it comes down to determine what came first was it the player bad team bad coaches bad organizations bad other teams good organizations will already have an answer and they can sift through and they can make the necessary moves bad teams eh, they'll help you they don't care they're bad for a reason unless you are this bad team i speak of in which you are because the whole question and premise why get rid of the manager before the players the manager before the players and also also it comes down to what sport it is some sports is way too many players to try to get rid of all of the players try to get rid of 10 to 20 players assuming the roster holds about 30 to 40 maybe possibly football too many players baseball too many players basketball wait a minute it's not that many 12 to 14 that's not that many but those contracts are huge huge hockey it's a it's a good number the contracts are moderate enough where you can still make moves but it comes down to the sport it comes down to the sport and a, the organization on how they want to do this the price how much is going to cost and whether or not that the players were being ran by a proper leader and there's more more yes more reasons and factors those are just some the easy answer would be to just say it's the price it is the price the price is the reason why it is the manager before the players 
100 years ago, I would have agreed with you. I would have said, yeah, let's just look at the price and look at the price alone because money talks and everything else walks. Money talks and everything else walks. I was going to say something else. But it's still a family program and a family show. And I think I got that point across without going that direction, that path. Definitely not the path of least resistance, but the path that's more accurate than not. Players have a responsibility to at least try. That's a given. But trying hard is just sometimes not good enough. If the player himself is not good enough, is that really, really on the manager? Did the manager ask for the not good enough players? Is the manager, the coaches, are they doing the best they can with the talent that's available to them? That's why this is a complex situation. This is a complex question. The solution isn't just cut and dry. The solution isn't just, oh, it's money. Let's just go ahead and get rid of the manager because it's easier. It is easier to get rid of one than many. That thought process, okay. There's something to it, but it's just not deep enough. It's just not in depth enough. It just leaves out so many variables. It just leaves out so many variables. It's like eating ice cream with no cake. It's like I want to eat cereal but I'm gonna use some water instead of milk because milk isn't it. Sure, there was some uh, propaganda back in the day saying milk does the body good, but look now, look now. It'll be almost the same thing, not 1000% comparable, but it's about 99.9%, 99.9%, it will be, and it is. And bad organizations tend to have to uh, tend to be more price conscious than leadership conscious. And it really doesn't matter what sport. Good organizations tend to look at all aspects and good organizations don't really find themselves in this position. Does it happen? Of course it happens. I'm not going to say it never, never, ever happens or it's rare. It happens. It's rare. But they look at everything. They look at all of the factors. They look at how did things go wrong what was the goal what goals were met what goals were so far away that a change is necessary and sometimes the grass is greener on the other side why they use paint and it's not real grass or it's astro turf or it's turf itself or it's not grass and you know you know how much I like watching grass grow. It's one of my favorite things to do behind watching baseball. One of my favorite things to do behind watching baseball. Good organizations look at all of the factors, not just price itself. Leadership skills of the man they put in charge because it all starts from the top. Top down. If you're poorly ran from the top, if the head is stinking at the top, 
guarantee that the body, the arms, the legs, the feet, the toes, the hair, all of that's gonna smell too. All of that's going to smell too. Your nose is at the head, your nose is up there, your mouth and everything else. It starts from the top down. Bad organizations usually make bad decisions more often than not and make bad decisions to get away from a bad decision they previously made and it's a bad decision on top of a bad decision on top of a bad decision but it's not like making two lefts and being back where you started uh-uh uh-uh it's like running around in circles trying to say that i am moving forward yeah you're moving all right but you're back you're right back where you started you're moving all right but you're right back where you started an easy answer price more accurate answer it varies more thoughtful answer you got to look at everything involved the organization the sport the prices the value and leadership who's leading who is leading is this a leader amongst everyone else that is the question those are the questions and answers but hey you can always hit that I believe button you can always hit that red button and say it is what it is it's Manny being Manny and I'm just gonna go with the flow and be like half of everyone else and just say price and just say price well you can do that you can do that till your heart is blue but me hey it's a multitude of answers you pick you choose i'm just a narrator and i gave you those answers Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.